What level is my character again? Can you get to Moog in that amount of time? I believe so. But even then, I have I have no need to rush. It's like, yeah, I want to play the DLC when it comes out, but if I don't get to it in time, it's no big deal. I can still experience the game, you know? Then you're golden, yeah. Alright, if I'm going to start a new character, then what build do I want? Because I've done sorcery, I've done strength, I've done dex, I've done miracles. Oh no, sorry, I haven't done miracles, I've done bleed. Yeah, I've done like an arcane build. Alright, I might do a, like either a miracle or... <laughs> Sword and blood. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wow, some dude's riding his fucking uh, battle mace like a horse. <laughs> right, ne right next to you. Right next to you. <laughs> I, I, I can't, I'm in a dance animation. Oh, he's not doing it now. Do it, do the thing. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Hey, I couldn't come guys here. Fuck that. Proud of ya. Flip it, Eric! I'm doing that. Oh, this guy's got the... I've got the great sword. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be one of my favorite weapons in the game now. Oh shit, there's a dude right there. God damn it. Well, at least we pushed that siege tower a fair bit. Yeah, we've got a fair bit. I'm now moving to the other one to keep the pressure split. I killed, a, I killed someone called Juicy Management and they were a female character. Wow. Okay, we've got old Mac Tom. I refuse to die before I can even 
Oh, Jesus. I was looking at my health regenerate. <laughs> Making sure I'll be fine. And then I get some guy cutting off my head. Uh, like you're playing now. Alright, we'll do we'll do a we'll do a sword and shield play. But should it be a deck sword and shield? Should it be a strength sword and shield? Should it be a magical one? Like come on, come on, Mary Trips, give me something here. More than just sword and spear. Thanks, Jack. But I accidentally hit you in the process because I was mid swinging. I just punched my mic while punching my uh was scratching my lip. My bad. Lost it up. I don't know, man. <laughs> Come on, Mimitrix, give us something here. Jack, what do you think? So we've decided Sword and Shield should, but should it be Dex, Strength, uh, Magic, Arcana? Like, what should it be? What do you think? Uh, what about a mix of Dex and Strength? Uh, I that way, that way you do damage and you quit. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, but only between those two. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, but the but element has a wide choice of it. Like, for example, if I do a, a magic sword with dexterity, I could get the moonlit katana, which you can shoot basically laser beams at opponents. But if I go arcana, I'd be able to do bleed, where I could do like this attack, which does massive blood build up. And it just the enemy will just explode after a while. But if I well, do I mean, strength with shield, that means I can stagger the enemy more frequently, getting more um, backstabs. But if I do a dex, that means I can just dodge and duck, dodge, dip, dive, and dodge with my shield. Well, that's what, saying, that was, that's what I was saying. Uh, you know, a mix of dex and strength. That way you've got you got you know speed and and damage. Alright. See what you're going for. But the damage doesn't... Uh, but you're uh, mistaking something. The damage doesn't work with um, just strength alone. Damage levels up depending on what skill and weapon you level up. Like, for example, if a weapon is, like, aid on dexterity, um, and you level up strength, you won't increase your damage in the, in the weapon. But if you level up your dex, you increase the damage with that. So your build, your build is around your weapons, and not your character. Well, that, well, then it's up to you which weapon. I see, I that's why I'm asking you, what weapon do you think I should get? Because I'm, the, because I'm conflicted here. Because yeah, I've done well, a I mean, lot I of guess builds, and I like them you, all. Because I'm sure, I'm sure there's like, you know, dip, you know, other, di uh, you know, variations between types of weapons. Like, say you, you were going to go a sword and a shield build. Like, which sword are you going to go? Which shield are you going to go? Exactly. That is you up see? to you. Yeah, but I don't know the names of the weapons in fucking Elden Ring. Like, I don't know what's good. Well, the Let Me Solo Her one was an uh, Arcana Dex build. Like, good, he, where he dual wields katanas and he wore nothing but a fucking, basically, underpants and a pot on his head. Uh, I have man. the perfect build for you, Luke. Oh, there's Frost. I was wondering where you were. What's, what's I have the build? perfect build. It's called the questionable class, okay? How it works is you grab one weapon, then you have to build your whole entire stats against that weapon. Meaning, if it's agility, you have to build strength. It's called questionable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> that, that would be an interesting one. <laughs> Candlestick master cards. Master face. <laughs> actually, they, actually, you know what? I think there is, in, in Elden Ring, you can use a candelabra. There is something like that. I tell you what, Monday when we could jump on Elden Ring again, I'll go on my uh, new game plus character and I'll see what weapons there are, and then we'll decide there. You know what'd be really funny? What? Making a whole radiant character and then all of a sudden just building Inferno instead <laughs> with the radiant. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You know what? Pyromancy sounds like a fun idea. Oh, that's <laughs> and then level up the stat, freaking Radiant. <laughs> the holy Pyromancer that wanted to be holy but is not. <laughs> oh shit, hang on. I was, I saw, I was started reading a message and I got attacked for two seconds. Do you uh, maybe forget uh, something? FromSoft already confirmed the DLC is going to be fucking hard. Good! I want it to be fucking hard. Okay, yeah, definitely make a character that's uh, a... Uh, it's a complete utter backwards where it's like, then it just makes it extra hard just for the sheer pain of it. Yeah, I tried to help you, dude. Well. You know what they need to do? They need to bring Dark Eater Medea in that game. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. A tribute to Dark Eater Medea would be so good. Would be so <laughs> cool. You know, I still haven't beaten Dark Eater Medea with my strength build. <laughs> oh man, he, he's such a hard boss. The only reason why I was able to beat him is because I put my character that had no armor on with armor. It goes against dark fucking attributes. Yeah, he did a lot of fucking dark attribute chat damage. He was... Wow. Well, fuck that guy. Like, Melania is basically bitch mode. We'll see about that. But I'm glad that they're making it harder. They need to. Are they I mean, gonna unstupefy our summons? <laughs> they better. Uh, well, I'm not gonna use summons regardless, so I don't really give a shit about no, that. No, 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 no. It's like you gotta know what I mean. You know that freaking mimic one? They need to unstupefy that one. Yeah, that's it's true. It's supposed to be they... exactly like you. It's supposed to dodge roll and everything, but they made it so it doesn't dodge roll anymore. Yeah, because it was uh, much more cooler. It was like really strong. I remember the first time I beat Melania was because of it. Well, what do they expect? It's supposed to be a mimic of your character. If your character ain't strong, it's not going to be strong. Yeah. Like, I beat Melania for the first time with it. By accident. I was trying to... Uh, let me just re rephrase that. By accident. Alright? Accident. I did not mean to fucking kill Melania. Uh, with, the, with my fucking mimic to you. But yeah, uh, I wanted to learn her attacks. And by the time I was... Uh, Figuring out my ca <laughs> uh, my mimic got the final blow on her. I'm like fuck. Don't mention that blasphemy here. <laughs> <laughs> because that would make up a good whole entire gameplay of class. It's called the summoner class. You just throw out your mimic and hope for the best. It wins. If it doesn't, you have to die and retry again for uh, RMG. <laughs> Would be suitable for gameplay. <laughs> so you have to legitly build your character properly for the mimic to use it directly, so that you oh, yeah, definitely, can because hopefully it's, it's win. Problem, yeah, if you, you have shit stats, if you have shit stats, and probably do anything. Why are these guys just standing on the left trying to kill our sus spawn when they're pushing the ramp on the right? I'm just gonna go to the right. Fuck them. You know what? No, fuck that. I'm gonna go over to the right. I'm gonna go around and keep pushing the left one. Traps have almost reached their walls. Well, so, so I got Elder Ring installed. I can't pre install the DLC, unfortunately. I did try oh, that. That reminds me, I've got to fucking finish installing the Callisto protocol. Oh, uh, wait, the Callisto Protocol, isn't that the, that dark, like, Dead Space one? Yeah, 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 yeah. you got put on the Game Pass the other day. Yeah, I Often heard it's pretty good, to... but not as, not, not like, um, Dead Space would. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard to beat Dead Space, I'm not gonna lie. Well, maybe not Dead Space 3. 
I mean, I had a lot of a lot of people didn't like it, but I did sort of enjoy more of the action side. You have something to say. I mean, don't get me wrong, the fucking snow parts, they were still pretty, pretty terrifying because the neck must pop out fucking anywhere. Yeah, but they, I think... But, I mean, it, I didn't mind. But I think, I think they, um, nerfed the fucking Xenomorphs. I don't know if you've, uh, noticed because... A, you, you notice how a lot of them are, like, zombie themed now? They're not, like, regular Xenomorphs? And then how you don't have to shoot their limbs off to kill them? You just shoot them normally and then they'll eventually die. Well, you've got to remember the ones that kind of are... They're actually a little bit different compared to... You know, the ones that you come across... In, in like one or two, because the ones yeah. you come across in one or two are made from humans, whereas the other ones are technically made from aliens. One thing that I do like about um, uh, number three was the design for the hunters. You know, the regenerators. I think that, I think those designs are really cool. I hated those. In every single Dead Space game, I fucking hate this. I love the, I love the hunter though. The hunter was such a terrifying boss fight. I loved it. Whoever fucking thought of that needs to go to the deepest pit of hell. You know, you know what you should play, Jack. What's that? Alien Isolation. I did try that. I couldn't really get into it. Really? How far did you get into it? I mean, honestly, probably not too far. It's more, it's more, I, I don't know if I <laughs> like games. No, it's, I, don't, I don't know if I like games that um don't let you technically have a weapon or, you know, be able to kill what's hunting you. Oh, don't worry, you get a weapon in that game. Yeah, you do. You yeah, but it's only, the, it's only you for like the, the alien, you can't actually take on the Xenomorph. Of course you can't take on the Xenomorph. That's you know the whole yeah, point. But, <laughs> why not? Like, you have a gun. I'll put it this way. The extra skeleton is harder than steel. Let alone that the only thing that could probably penetrate is either a predator's freaking, uh, in technology or their own tail if you can rip it off of them. Because also, also remember, Jack, you're not in like some fucking military shuttle. You're in a fucking research facility. Yeah, I know, but surely you could find. Yeah, you gotta get. Well, well, they don't have machine guns there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> everything, everything they had was like you know, minor security stuff with a makeshift flamethrower. <laughs> but but seriously, I think Alien, Is Alien Isolation was one of the best horror games ever made. I've seen, I did see, um, a clip of some, somebody else playing that, but they were on, I don't know if it was a modded mode, or a mode you could actually play as, but there was five aliens at once. If you really want to play a game that makes you feel vulnerable at every fucking second, play Amnesia. Yes. You get uh, no especially weapon. Especially the bunker. You only get a lantern. Amnesia the bunker <laughs> has quickly become one of my all-time favorite horror games. It's so good. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I, I tried Amnesia. But you haven't played But you haven't tried Amnesia the Bunker. Seriously, it's different. No. It's so good. Yeah, I know. It's I've, so I've, fucking I've watched, good. Um, quite a few people play that. Amnesia the Bunker, Ain Isolation, and Resident oh, Evil 2 are horror games that I think everybody should play. Because they all have one mechanic in the game that a lot of horror games don't. Yeah, and that's the AI that hunts you, you know, the main uh, thing. It learns and it tr act actively tracks you down and can complete completely at random spots. Like, uh, I, I don't know how if you know how the alien uh, isolation, the alien works. So it's got two AI programs. So the first one, it knows where you are at all times. And the second one doesn't. And every time you interact with the alien, these two AIs communicate with each other until eventually you'll figure out how to uh, track you down. It was so good. 
so that you so you can't necessarily use the same techniques like more than once or twice. If you use a flamethrower two times in one area, it'll be resistant to it and it'll kill you. If you hide into a locker more times than twice, it'll figure out you're in lockers. Under a table, it'll look under tables. It's really cool. Oh, like how people another are good drawn one. Pray. to down enemies like, <laughs> like flies to shit. Actually, it's you, hilarious, really isn't it? Wanna, if you really want a game with a good amount of jump scares, try Prey. Those fucking mimics. I played Prey. Yeah, a Prey. I think Prey is still criminally underrated. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what's really underrated? The original. That was. I could still enjoy that. Yeah, true. I've I've heard nothing but good things about the original Prey. Right? Oh. You know, when I heard about the second prey coming out, I was so excited and then so extremely disappointed when it wasn't uh, a remake or a second one of the original. But I, I, I was, I'm hoping that, oh, actually, they won't, but they definitely won't make a sequel now. It's because the, um, oh, who, who was the company that made it? It was the same people that made uh, Dishonored, but it was a branching, it was um, a branching Ar one. Arcane Studios. Yeah, Arcane Studios Montreal. That's right, yeah. So they got two studios. They got the main Arcane Studios, and they got Ar uh, Arcane Studios Montreal. Arcane Studios Montreal was also responsible for Redfall, and it got shut down because of it. Oof. Yeah, so... And then the, uh, Prey open... Uh, the, the reboot to Prey... Um, had an open end, uh, open end so suggesting a sequel, so that's never going to happen. I'll put it this way: Redfall would have been a good concept if they added more enemies to the fucking audio map. <laughs> because they said play stealthily, and all that. Why play stealthily if you're always 100% stealth and there's nothing on the fucking goddamn road? Uh, I got frost. Um, <laughs> turns out the reboot to Prey is not related to the original. It's, complete, it's a completely different game. Do you know why it's called Prey? Why is it called Prey Mimitrix? For those, uh, for you, for, if you two don't know, uh, Mimitrix is, um, he's, he's, he's got quite a good um, resource for keeping up with all the video game gossip. So he knows this stuff. He's, he's going to, a, he's engaged to a, uh, a, a developer at EA. I'm sorry, what was, what was the question? So he's uh, he's asking us if we want to. Uh, so basically, he's saying the Prey reboot isn't the same Prey as the one you were talking about, Jack. He's saying it's completely yeah, no, different. I, I, yeah, no, yeah, no, I know, I, I know. It's yeah, he's he's uh, he, and he, it is, he's it is if he wants to know why it was called different. Prey. Which yes, I want to know. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I would be curious to know why they made it the same name. I'll put it this way: I mean, it's I, pretty much I the same. It. It's both, the same way as Lord of the Fallen. Prey. Lord of the Fallen One and Lord of the Fallen Two are completely different. That is true, yeah. <laughs> Even though they have the same title and try to do the same thing, the whole concept was never in the very original uh, freaking Lords of the Fallen. Because Neither the original the map, name was that. already taken and they had to file an IP name change last minute. Someone from Arcade told my fiancé about a week ago. He worked on the project, completely destroyed the marketing, hence the game, uh, hence the game bombed. Ah. So originally it was supposed to be called something else, is that what you're saying? And because of this whole, like, you know, had to get hold of their IP name, they had to, it, it sort of flopped the marketing, okay. You see, it's, it's, it's surprising how little things like that can really fuck over a game, isn't it? I knew, I knew the dude was going to come around and fucking get me as I was healing. Nice learning these uh, tidbits if you work in the industry. I agree. Never, never but, uh, leave um, Mimitrits because you're you're my most reliable source of information for these sort of things. This guy's carrying I, I a seven head. Dude's, I don't know the dude's name, but um, my brother's landlord is actually a VA developer as well. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. That's um, it's actually how I got my copy of Battlefield 2040. Uh, t yeah, 2042. Um, my mate that actually organised my brother to get the to get the house. Yeah, you got uh, two codes for Battlefield 4022, whatever it is. He gave me one. I was actually hurt excited when I heard about uh, and brother saying all thing. Yeah, the developer. I was like, ooh, ooh, free Apex coin. <laughs> the dude cut off my head and he took it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'd see the dude that got your head. He fucking killed me with it. Ah, <laughs> oh, big stretch. Oh, fuck yeah. All right. Yes, EA employees are only allowed to get uh, one triple A release per year for like ten dollars or something. There, uh, there is a limitation. Well, there you go, yeah, Jack. That explains it. Yeah, I don't know if I should have said that out loud. Yeah, I don't know if I should have said that out loud. But, yeah. yeah.